Today is October 18th. Pastor is saying to us, Enforce the victory of Christ. Our opening scripture comes from the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. In 1 John, chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible gives us a clear message on the purpose of Jesus' coming. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. What are the works of the devil? In the first part, it reveals the works of the devil to be sin, doing things that are inconsistent with the will and plan of God. It includes wickedness, evil, destruction, sickness, pain, affliction, and even death. For the Bible says death is the result of sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. But thanks be unto God. Jesus came and abolished death and brought life and immortality to light. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 10. In Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. The sicknesses, diseases, pain, misery, and suffering in the world are all works of the devil. But Jesus brought healing and health. He brought light, joy, and peace. He destroyed all the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Therefore, if ever the works of the devil try to manifest in your body, in your home, or in any area of your life, just remember that Jesus already got rid of them. All you have to do is maintain your faith on what he's already done. Refuse to accommodate anything of Satan and of darkness in your life and in your sphere of influence. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 to 15 says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil and delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. This scripture has already been consummated. Therefore, enforce the victory Jesus Christ wrought in your behalf and enjoy your glorious life in him. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I have the same life that Jesus has in its fullness. My life is sickness proof disease proof, poverty proof, and failure proof. It's a life of glory, victory, success, and excellence. Nothing of the devil can stay in me, for I've embraced the transcendent life that's in Christ Jesus. I'm a partaker of the divine nature. I've overcome the world. Hallelujah. For further study, Please read 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13, and 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 9 to 10 of the Passion Translation. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 to 18, and Jeremiah chapters 3 to 4. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 9, verses 1 to 10, and Ezekiel chapter 16. Rhapsody of reality.